morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is John, or Last Frontier Bricks, and this is my breakdown and review video of LEGO Marvel's Avengers. Of course, as you're watching this, the uh, premiere of the finale episode is actually going on. So you guys know that I have 100% completed this game. I have collected every red brick, every minicate, every gold brick, and have purchased every character in Beagle. So this is my breakdown on of the game in its entirety. Of course, this is my own opinion. If you guys opinions differ, that's okay. You do you. But this is my but this is my point of view. So starting off gameplay, uh, it's about as good as you could expect. Of course, they definitely uh, laid the groundwork with Lego Marvel superheroes, especially when it came to like uh, the characters' abilities. Like say, for example, like the, the six main Avengers, like uh, Captain America, Black Widow, Iron Man, Thor, Hawkeye, and Hulk. They were all in Lego Marvel superheroes, so they just had to transfer all those mm, all those combat abilities. Is and movement abilities over the new game. Of course, they did change up a few things, like for example, uh, in uh, Marvel Super Heroes, the Hulk Buster is a uh, is a big big. While for here, it's more based off of the Age of Ultron set. So there was that, and then uh, the Age of Ultron Black Widow had her electric batons, things like that. So nothing t nothing too crazy. But uh, get, but anyway, it is basically the same. Uh, like I said, Marvel Super Heroes definitely laid the groundwork for that. But uh, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It definitely worked. But uh, I do kind of feel like uh, it could like the game didn't really add anything we hadn't already seen in Marvel Super Heroes. In fact, if anything, it kind of took some. Uh, if anything, kind of took some things away because we didn't really get. Uh, when it came to uh, gameplay, we didn't really get anything as radical as, like, say, uh, Mr. Fantastic's ability here in uh, Marvel Superheroes, or like, uh, and uh, something like uh, uh, Invisible Woman's Shield. Although technically, we kind of have that with uh, Captain America, so there is that. Uh, but anyway, gameplay was great. Uh, level design was about, well, also about as good as you can ask for. Definitely uh, a ki uh, definitely uh, accurate to what you see in the movies, well, at least when it came to uh, the levels so based off movies. Um, kind of wish they'd done more levels based off of phase one, you know, kind of like uh, Iron Man and Iron Man 2. Like maybe, uh, maybe do like the fight with Hulk and Abomination in uh, Harlem. Of course, there, uh, of course, there are always people that forget that uh, that movie is even part of the MCU. The only thing, uh, until, especially uh, until uh, 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 Ross came back in Civil War, because. Until that point, it's the except with the exception of the few uh, shield references during the uh, during the opening credits, the only really connection, real connection, uh, and, uh, Incredible Hulk has to the MCU is the cameo by Stark. Um, then, like I said, other than that, um, like the few one-shot levels, like for Iron Man 3, Dark World, Winter Soldier, those were definitely enjoyable. Uh, definitely out of the parts you probably expect to be in the levels. I, I honestly, part of me kind of wishes, like for Winter Soldier, like he had Cap's breakout from uh, the Triskelion at the beginning. But then again, but then again, for uh, needing to do the fact that you could only, apparently they could only do three levels for each one-shot movie. Um, I kind of uh, definitely would have uh, missed out on. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's one of the uh, on a on another scene, uh, probably the uh, the um, let's see the uh, the highway scene where Cap actually finds out that Bucky is when is the Winter Soldier. But so there's that. So there's that uh, character selection. Um, Definitely a lot of guys from the MCU actually 
Well, actually, one thing that really, uh, I'm really surprised about is that a lot of the other characters, like, say, for example, uh, Speed and Wiccan, who you guys might know as Billy and Tommy from, uh, WandaVision, actually shows up, uh, actually show, uh, show up, let's see, I know the, like, I know they are in the game, I just, let's see, S, B, Okay, there's Wiccan. And then, let's see, let me grab Speed. Like, the fact that a lot of characters, like, they added from the comics, actually end up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe before long. Oh, there's Speed. There you go, there's your two brothers, Billy and Tommy. And then I also thought, like, for example, uh, like, uh, America Chavez from Multiverse of Madness, Kate Bishop from the Hawkeye series, She-Hulk, uh, Kang actually shows up, uh, and the Captain Marvel DLC, uh, Shuri and Umbaku in the Black Panther bunch, uh, Clea who shows up in the Multiverse of Madness, uh, uh, post credit scene. So many characters that or just popular in the comics are now a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, coincidence? Possibly for some, probably not for others. Or it's like, for example, like, for example, oh, like, the D, like, all the DLC uh, levels was from comics, uh, Doctor Strange, uh, Black Panther, and Captain Marvel, they all got movies in Phase 3. Co coincidence? Eh, po eh, probably not. I, you, you don't really know. Like what all uh, information the Le the Lego Group had about upcoming Marvel movies from uh, Marvel Studios, but you never know. But the fact that so many characters were just popular enough in the comics to be end up in the game are now part of or about to become part of the MCU. For example, like I said, Kang from Quantum The fact that they are in the game is just fantastic. That really feels more like an MCU uh, MCU uh, an MCU based game even more are now uh, that so much time has passed and so many more characters have been added into the MCU. It's really fantastic if you ask me. But, of course, there are also, like, characters that, like I said, there quite a few times, like, I haven't heard of these guys. Like, even just from the, uh, the Fountain Alley video, like, uh, like, 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 this new guy, Wendigo. Like, who is this guy? Like, what is he even supposed to be? Is he, like, a Yeti or something? Or is, like, a, a half-human, half-lion? I don't know. And then, of course, uh, the the two uh, Marvel Legacy people, Lou Ferrigno and Stan Lee, those were absolutely fantastic additions to the game. Like I, like uh, I'm probably saying it right, right now on uh, the the uh, the finale video. Like I said, it's going on at um, it's premiering as I am watching this. Stan Lee is just the best character. They added in the game. He's just got so many abilities. He's many of them based off characters he helped create, like Spider-Man's web slinging, uh, Daredevil. Oh, hmm. oh, I won't be surprised if he's got some. Uh, I, I, the fact that he's got like his own Iron Man armor, even his own Hulk Buster, is just so cool. Uh, and the fact that they actually got the two people to get in the two the, the actual game and do voice acting for their character absolutely fantastic I love it well like I said also the fact that there's just so many people that in this game that I don't know that maybe people are introduced to for the very first time. Like for example, like who's this person Tick or Warbird? Uh, 
and the fact that also the fact that they were able to come in to Agents of Shield acknowledge the Marvel TV shows that's that's an enjoy to, enjoyable too but of course they probably couldn't do any pull off anything like from like uh like uh Daredevil or mm -mm, or um I uh, I don't really know like the rating for like uh, Iron Fist or Jessica Jones, but the fact mm. Mm. so I don't really know if they could have done anything like that, oh. or even uh, done like an, a level based off of those, because like again like with Daredevil being an R-rated show. Well, definitely more adult focused. You said there's always a, they probably weren't able to do anything like that. But the fact that, but it is cool that they were able to add uh, Daredevil into the games. Game. So I can't really complain about that. At least they were able to, go, uh, at least able to do that much. Uh, let's see what else can I say about this game? Oh the fact that they were like say The fact that they already do, do did like classic p uh, Classic versions of a lot of characters like Ant-Man uh, Captain America, but then again classic Captain America was part of the uh, the first Avenger level from Avengers uh, from the main story line, so, so that but also like they do like classic Hawkeye, Iron Man, Thor. The, the fact that they were able to do different variants of different characters. Oh, and even more like, actually, that actually reminds me of more characters that are now part of the MCU. I like. I'm pretty sure I also mentioned Kate Bishop, but like Jane Foster, Thor. I'm pretty sure I mentioned She-Hulk. Oh, Agent Carter. Actually, actually, that was a great that was a great addition. She even gave, uh, the fact that they even gave her her own like kind of story uh, story uh, mission storyline in where you got quite a few characters. There's like uh, like uh, Igor. You got the elderly retired Agent C Agent Carter, but sh but that Agent Carter could also kind of fit for the the Agent Carter in. In the opening scene for Ant-Man, and like just the, the character roster is just it it's huge. Like it's certainly nowhere near Skywalker Saga huge, but for for its time, it's probably one of uh, like the time it was made. It was one of if not the biggest character roster. I think it might even be bigger than Marvel Superheroes. Not as expansive, mind you, because, like, of course, Marvel Superheroes has the X-Men and the Fantastic Four, and this was ba uh, the main character roster was definitely was inspired by Marvel's Cinematic Universe. So, uh, there, so, uh, couldn't be quite as expansive as Marvel Superheroes, but it was definitely big. Also, like the uh, like, for speaking of the with it being based off Marvel's Cinematic Universe, the cutscenes were definitely a joy. Uh, were definitely a joy. Like if you weren't able to get some of your play through some of your favorite scenes, they definitely made sure that they got as many as they could with the uh, with the uh, with the cutscenes. Like for example, like in event uh, that one long one. That long take in Avengers, where you see all the Avengers in action, like starting off with uh, like Black Widow on the Chitauri chariot, Stark flying around, Hawkeye shooting everything around, the, the team up with Captain America, and then of course it's, it's starting with the level with Hulk and Thor on top of the Chitauri Leviathan. It's just the fact. I honestly, I was a little disappointed you weren't able to play through. That entire scene, that the only part we were able to play through was the part of Thor and Hulk, but the fact that they added it, it made sure to add that in as a cutscene. Mm, just kiss, Mwah. love it. Anyway, uh, I think that'll do it for my little breakdown of this 
enjoyable this fantastic enjoyable game Lego definitely knocked knocked it out of the park with this game very enjoyable oh level design fantastic amazing character roster even the cutscenes were great this was just I will be the first to admit that when this game came out it became my favorite Lego game to date and the fact that I'm now basically breaking down this game on a YouTube channel who knows how many years afterwards um, it I got admit I didn't see this coming I really didn't like if you t if I uh, if you told me that I would be doing a YouTube channel with this game him like when this game came out um, I definitely wouldn't have believed you but here I am now. I'm very, very much enjoying this, is, and uh, I couldn't be, I couldn't be happier with, with, with it. With the fact that I get to do this, that uh, this, uh, I'm basically turning this into, ooh, into my job. Uh, it definitely makes me happy. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. Uh, also, but before I go, thank you guys for your guys. Um, Reception of the of this uh, of this uh, playthrough you got uh, between the likes all the views you got uh, you guys are the best I definitely got quite a few new subscribers through this uh, uh, through through this video or through this video series I'm actually up to 147 subscribers and actually the fact that I got through that. At, and I've gotten that many subscribers in less than a year. It, uh, I got mad. I didn't think, I didn't think it would happen this quick. No, I didn't think uh, I'd get that many that quickly. I wasn't sh like, I'd had a, uh, a, f uh, a friend of a friend uh, named the official friend. Oh, he's got his own YouTube channel. Make sure to check him out. Like he told me, like he got his channel, all uh. To a thousand subscribers in less than a year. I don't think that's, I don't think that's gonna happen with me, mind you. But the fact that I honestly wasn't, I honestly didn't believe him, and the fact that I got it in less than a year. But now I'm starting to believe it could happen. But now I'm starting to believe if it's possible. But uh, thank you guys, for, sir, for this, for your support to this uh, through this series. He's def, yeah, it's definitely a fun, fun, uh, fun. Uh, it was definitely a fun series to make, and the fact that you guys are enjoy enjoyed this series, it definitely makes me happy. Uh, but uh, thank you for so thank you for for all your support to, uh, through the uh, through this series. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, ring the bell to be notified of all videos as soon as they become available. Check out my channel and the now complete. 100% Lego Marvel Avengers playthrough playlist on the screen in just a few seconds, and make sure this to uh, to uh, check uh, to check out my channel uh, the day after this video arrives because it, it will be the start of a brand new series. Uh, you guys probably yeah, yeah no. You guys can probably guess what it'll be after this video, but I'll give you a hint. It's got connections to this one. So, hope you guys have an enjoyable day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later, everybody!